Hello brain lovers! Black Friday. It's almost that time of the year again. A huge mass of potential buyers will flood malls and shops. Go for it! All over the country and online also. Again in a collective buying frenzy triggered by the media and savvy marketeers. This is definitely an emergency. As used as we have become to this annual ritual, still, have you ever wondered how they do it? Why we do it? What is it that triggers us so that we're all struck with acute consumerism and we turn into some sort of weird buying zombie army? <laughs> <laughs> The answer, of course, lies in our brain. That beautiful brain of ours that is still in so many ways operating as if we were living 200,000 years ago. <laughs> or somewhere on the African plains or 40,000 years ago hiding from the cold in European caves. Our environment and our needs did not evolve that much. And in terms of evolution, 200,000 years is a blink of an eye. Nothing much really changes. So our ancestors were hunter-gatherers. For hundreds of thousands of years, we've done only that. Hunting and gathering. <laughs> our brain internalized that. It was hugely important not only to be good at it, but simply to do it. Without it, no food. Without food, well, it was quickly game over, right? So evolution gave us a very strong motivational mechanism to make sure we would perform that act of hunting and gathering. And as always, it's brilliant in its simplicity. You see, in order to make us hunt and God, our evolution made us like it. There's another entrance this way! <laughs> yes, as simply as that. We like it. And how, do you ask? Well, I have one word for you. Dopamine! <laughs> Dopamine is a chemical, a neurotransmitter. It's linked to pleasure and rewards. It's oh, extremely powerful. <sighs> It's so powerful it leads to addictions. Think cocaine, gambling, sex and so on. But it doesn't always have to be. It's also in the little things, you know. Those guilty pleasures we enjoy so much. Have you ever tried filling your mouth with chocolate? <laughs> that taste of melting chocolate. That's pure dopamine. Or trying to solve a puzzle or a problem and then finding the solution. We gotta find a way to make this fit into the hole for this using nothing but that. Dopamine. Well, in the case of our caveman, a successful hunt or finding a spot with a lot of berries, for example, would have our brain release dopamine. And in today's world, it's no wonder that millions of people got hooked a couple of years ago on hunting Pokemons. Or for that matter, hunting a great deal on Black Friday, right? It's still the same process that is active. Now, when looking for the best deal, our brain processes this in the exact same way as if we were hunting mammoths. <laughs> including the high heartbeat, the feverish tension, the adrenaline rushing through our veins. And when we find our prey and we go in for the kill, or in this case, <laughs> paying with our credit card, well, there's the blessed dopamine flooding our neurons. Yeah, let's have okay. some fun, Ladies, girls. start your engines. <laughs> <laughs> Making us feel oh so thankful, but also wanting for more. Because remember, dopamine is the root of all addictions. And, and once we get going, it's hard to stop. At one point, during one of their crazy experiments, researchers connected the brain of a rat to a lever so that each time the rat would push the lever, he would get a release of dopamine in his brain. Well, there was also another lever next to it, and this one was releasing food. A long story short, <laughs> to their consternation, the researchers observed how the rat would rather continue pushing the dopamine lever and die from starvation rather than take a break and eat. That's also dopamine. And it makes you think, well, maybe it's a good thing. There's only one Black Friday a year. Hey. Happy bargain hunting, everyone. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out some of our other episodes. And if you want the real thing, go to brainacademy.com. Join over 300,000 students and start using your brain better. Brain out. Sharpen your mind.